Camera Girl here with MyFoodChannel.com and today we're going to talk about what you need to know when you go to the grocery store to buy crab meat. There's a lot of choices. I'm just going to show you what I experienced this week when I just went to go pick up some crab for crab cakes. Now I'm just going to talk about two kinds of crab. I'm going to talk about what they'd call pasteurized refrigerated crab and I'm going to talk about canned crab. The refrigerated crab we find in our the seafood section of our grocery store and the canned crab we find with oysters, tuna. So let's jump right in. Now this is some jumbo lump crab meat and generally if when you are buying pasteurized refrigerated crab meat you can get a little look to see how big the pieces are and we're going to open up everything in a while. This is what Chef Buck would call the fancy pants. But actually there's super jumbo, there's colossal, colossal, colossal. Jumbo is the fancy pants that we're going to talk about today. And so this is 8 ounces. This cost us $31. Huh? That little thing was $31. That was. Are you serious? I am serious. Sheepers creepers. Why you should have just let that out I and told me after this video. My my the camera's gonna be shaking now. Oh my lord. This eight ounces was thirty one dollars. Eight ounce and you're getting bigger pieces and it's the delicate part of the crab. You're paying so sixty sixty dollars a pound. Yes. Yes, and this is net weight, so this also includes a little bit of water, not as much as in a canned product, but yes. Oh, New Chef Buck would cool. love that. This is for special, special, special. This is, you can saute it. You know, you just saute it almost like you would small scallops, just with a little bit of butter, a little bit of lemon juice. You just don't want to overwhelm the delicate well, flavor. Well, yeah, heck no. <sighs> Hilarious. Or you can make a um, just saying crab. if you're gonna add a lot of flavor to it, you might as well make eggs. Exactly, crab Benedict. That's what this size and bigger. Yeah, if is you're made using for. this, if you're using this, oh, listen to him. He's never, much. he's never bought it before, but no, he's no, gonna no. talk about. But, but this is this is like an expensive fish or something like that. You want to oh, use yeah. this yes. where the flavor of the ingredient. You want that to be front and foremost. Exactly. This is not something you put when you're using horseradish or green peppers or other strong flavors. Okay. It gets lost. You're going to have wasted your money. And so that's one thing you think, I'm going to get the best. Well, it depends on what you're making. Yeah, exactly. Now, I'm going to do a special something for Mother's Day, and this will be perfect. There's also lump. Now, this eight ounces was $21. Now, it's, as you can imagine, smaller lumps. Sometimes you'll also, this will also be referred to as back fin. The difference between the lump and the back fin is the back fin is even a little bit smaller, maybe a little more shredded, um, not like you'd find in a tuna can, but they're sort of interchangeable in terms of the flavor and the consistency and where you would use them. This you could use in like a bisque. Again, you want to, you want to focus on a light crab flavor if you're going to use any of any of the lumps. Yeah, definitely, because you're still talking $40 a pound. Yes, but I will tell you this. The crab cakes that are really good, you have some meatier big pieces and you mix it with a can or the claw, which is what we're going to talk about in a second. And so you get something that's a little more economical, but you get a few bites of real crab. You're going to be making some fancy pants crab cakes this week. Uh -huh. So you got some fancy pants crab. But, you know, if we're just making a regular thing just for us, we make salmon cakes. That's like right. if you're going to add a lot of flavors to it, if you're going to add a lot of other ingredients, do it with salmon. Do it with some low cost ingredient. And even salmon cakes without a lot of ingredients tastes fantastic. They but do. crab cakes, I mean, we love crab cakes. And if you enjoy them, you've probably had them at several restaurants and you think, I, got, I can do this at home. You can make it exactly like you want to and control the ingredients. Now this is an example of claw crab meat. Now this was 13 bucks for again, eight ounces. And again, when we get into this, you're going to see this is darker. It's, it's the equivalent of poultry dark meat. It's um, a little more fat, a tiny bit more oily, so it can stand up to 
stronger flavors. So I also like to put this in crab cakes. Again, if you're trying to be fancy, in fact, claw is, if I'm gonna be fancy, is what I'll put in a crab cake. This will give you bigger pieces, generally, so you get something to bite into, but I don't wanna hear Chef Buck whining all night <laughs> long. Anyway, okay. Well, you know, I'm leery of any dish where we have to go down to the bank and sign papers before we buy the ingredients. Blah, blah, blah. These were three examples of refrigerated, pasteurized crab. Now, here's two examples of canned crab. Now, this is, again, where you'd find canned tuna. So this can, which is one of a bazillion brands that you can find, this was about $4. And you'll notice it says fancy crab meat with leg meat. But basically, you get some of the delicate flavored and firmer texture and some of the darker flavorful bits. It's mixed. So it's sort of like white and dark meat. And then this one, you notice it says white meat. And again, there is a category in the U.S. that they seem to use a bit white or special. Crab is off-white, maybe ivory. This is going to look like um, tuna, a can of tuna, in terms of the texture, but it's gonna be fairly delicate. And this was 350 for us. One other thing I wanna note that they'll generally tell you for canned is you're gonna see, a lot of times it'll say net weight and then DRWT. You're like, what? Net weight is how much the can weighs with everything in it. Dry weight is that's how much crab you have in it. So for instance, both of these, the net weight is six ounces, but the dry weight is 4.25. Now that's important because if you have a recipe, like we have a, a crab cake recipe that calls for a pound. Well, then I'm gonna need four cans if I was just using cans. What I'm gonna make for Chef Buck and me in terms of crab cakes, it's gonna be one of these cans, um, possibly two, and then some of the claw. So you're making crab cakes with these and this? Because I'm, yes, because you're not gonna get so, the so then, so then why do we buy this? This is for the Mother's Day. Oh, that's right, you you're making that for your mom, okay. You can make it with all can, which is, much more economical, and then they will be delicious. Plus, generally, you're gonna get a little bit of the darker meat, and so yeah, adding some, uh, in fact, we'll put a recipe up for crab cakes that we think are delicious, and you can edit it depending on the type of crab you're using. But in general, claw is the only thing I really wanna use in crab cakes, except if somebody really loves it, Thinking about what you're going to use the crab meat for, and thinking about the textures that you want to have in whatever dish you're preparing, you really want to consider that because you're going to be paying for those differences. You do, but the other thing you're paying for when you get the refrigerated and pasteurized version, you don't have the preservatives. Now, I'm not saying you don't have any. In fact, I think when I looked at these, it was like a preservative to promote color retention, and that's it, and the crab meat. But these, you're gonna find they have uh, perhaps a little sugar, perhaps a little salt, perhaps something for color, something to preserve the crab overall. You are getting more ingredients. Every brand is different. Until you personally have tried a canned brand, don't pretend you're gonna know it. Don't look at just the ingredients and the sell by date and think, oh, I know exactly what this is gonna be. What is it? test before guests, because we're a smaller world. You can get these cans from all over the world and they're packaged differently. You know, you think, I'm just going to the store to get some crab for crab cakes. You don't need the jumbo. And truly, if you've got anybody who's gonna faint because of price, don't use the lump. If you think you wanna try something a little fancier, get a little bit of the claw, the claw, and mix it with some cans or First, just try a few cans and find some that you like and go from there and then you can get a little fancier if you need to. We're gonna put more information over at myfoodchannel.com, so check out the link below and once we've got our crab cake video, we'll put the link below as well. So, thanks again for watching. See you next time.